Year 5, Week 2, Conventions, Step 1, Adjectives. Today I'm going to introduce you to adjectives and the various kinds that there are. We're going to be using a Prezi PowerPoint presentation for this. So look along and learn. So adjectives, what are they? Adjectives are the words that we use to help describe a noun and to make a clear description of any noun which names a person, a place or a thing. Adjectives come in a variety of rain, a variety of forms. You've got your opinionative adjectives which come in both a general and a specific form. We have our descriptive which come in a range of different varieties but also along with those you get your quantitative, your of degree and your determinatives. Opinion adjectives, as I've said, come in two varieties, general and specific. General opinion adjectives are the adjectives used for almost any noun that we give an opinion on. They are words like good, bad, lovely, strange, beautiful, nice, brilliant, excellent, awful, important, wonderful, or nasty, and many more. Our specific opinion adjectives are the ones that we use for a particular kind of noun, such as when we're describing food, we would say that it is tasty or delicious. If we were describing furniture or buildings, they are comfortable, uncomfortable, or even ugly. When we are describing people or even animals, they could be clever, intelligent, or friendly. We always use general opinion verbs. We always use general opinion adjectives before specific ones. So we could say about the furniture that it was. Uh, good and tasty. Uh, the descriptive adjectives. These type of adjectives help to bring the noun alive and give it a personality, a flair. They come also in a variety of, also in a variety such as size, shape, age, colour, origin, material, and purpose. Also under these headings come the others which give us the quantitative values, so uh, those of a degree and the determinatives. First we will look at the, um, the, one, the main descriptive adjectives. So size. A descriptive adjective which tells of size actually tells us what size something is. Is it microscopic? Enormous. Is it short or tall? The shape ones tell us what shape the being is. So is it triangular, hexagonal, round, square? The age ones tell us what is being described as, it, as in, is it medieval, ancient, old, young? The colour ones tell us what colour is being described. Is it rosy, pale, green, yellow? The origin ones tell us from which country it has come. So is it Roman, African, Australian or Egyptian? The material ones tell us what it is made of. Is it made of leather? Is it wooden, made of stone? And the purpose one tell us what it is being used for. Is it used to dance, for cooking, for walking, or for work? The other descriptive adjectives are those that tell us of a quantity. That is, how many of them are there? Are there 10,000? 22? 9? Are there many, or only a few? Those descriptive ones of degree are the, are the three come in three varieties, that of the positive, the comparative, and the superlative. And these compare one or more things. So you could have, for the positive, sad, 
comparative, sadder, or the superlative, saddest. And you've got the same for good, better, or best, or beautiful, more beautiful, and most beautiful. Then finally you've got the determinatives under the descriptive adjectives. These are the ones that describe which one of the things has been described. Is it a, so as in a man, or is it the man, or is it that man, or is it those men? When we describe adjectives in a, when we describe a noun using a multiple, multiple adjectives, we need to know what order they come in. Now if we speak them normally, we don't have a problem with it. But often when we come to write them, we get them mixed up. So this is the correct order that they need to be written in. The determiner first, then the quantity, then the opinion, then the size, age, shape, colour, origin, material, and finally the purpose. All of these come before the noun. So, here we have the determiners. The ter determiners are again an article, a, an, or the. You have the positive, uh, the possessive adjectives, mine, his, her, it, your, our, or their. And you have the demonstrative, this, that, these, or those. For quantity, we've got five, many, few, or several. The opinion ones again, beautiful, expensive, gorgeous, ugly, broken, delicious. Size, being huge, tiny, four foot tall, microscopic. Their age, ten years old, new, antique, modern. The shape ones, square, circular, oblong or hexagonal. The colour, black, red, a greeny blue or a bluey green, rosy or metallic. The origin, Roman, English, Mongolian, Egyptian. The material that it's made of, silk, silver, plastic, wooden. And the purpose, it's a folding or for working, sleeping or fishing. In the last couple of years, many people have added other groups for classifying adjectives. These type of groups are those that give emotion, or that are emotional. Those that are for sound, for taste, for touch, for weight, for smell, for speed, for temperature, for distance, for quality, for brightness, and for time. In the future, this layer this list of groups may even be added to further as we start using other words as adjectives that may not have been seen as such before. So I wonder, can you make a list of words that might come under each of the headings in this presentation?